wilted vine. We don't know why the vine is wilted, but the first thing to do is to check and to make sure the vine hasn't been broken for some reason. So we follow it back to the base and see, in fact, it is solid. It hasn't been broken. So this indicates that, that it's not a broken vine and it, that, that perhaps it might be bacterial wilt. A second thing to do, obviously, would be to check underneath the plastic then and look at the soil and to see if there's plenty of moisture. If there's plenty of moisture, then that rules out another source of wilting for the plant. What we have here is a row of muskmelon that have rather severe symptoms of what appears to be bacterial wilt. So you can see that the, the, the leaves are wilted and sometimes scorched, dying, necrotic, brown. And in addition, you see that there's small fruit here on these vines, which obviously won't develop because of the of the wilt itself. And what we're going to try to do is, is, is what we call a, a streaming test, which is not uh, diagnostic, but it gives us a pretty indica good indication in the field that this is bacterial wilt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the vines here, and I'm going to try to find one that is suitable for, for uh, this test. Cut a section of vine like this. Press the cut ends of the stem together and slowly pull them apart again. As I draw apart the stem pieces, it's possible to see a sticky ooze that is visible in strands. This ooze is caused by the bacteria that causes bacterial wilt of musk, melon, and cucumber. The growth of the bacteria in the stem causes the sap to become thick, clogs the plant's plumbing, resulting in wilt and plant death.